sometimes I'll spend some time actually just making collage papers. I use a variety of papers. I don't want to use waxy or oily paper because the it would act as a resist to the acrylic paint which would then peel off and ruin your painting. <laughs> I tend to use papers that are lighter, thinner, because I like them to incorporate with the paint a little better. So I'll use deli paper, rice paper, but I wouldn't tend to use cardstock or something like that. I'll use photos and writing from books or magazines, and often I will actually put paint on those before I use them as a collage paper. Not always, but sometimes. So when I make collage materials, I take a piece of paper and I may paint directly onto that, or I may take a mono print. Sometimes I'll be painting along and I'll have too much paint and I'll want to lift some off and I'll just grab a piece of paper and lift some of that paint off. One of the main ways I make collage papers is a printmaking technique called monoprinting. And monoprinting just means pulling a print off something one time. It's not a run of prints, like it's not like an etching. So what that means is that I will have some paint probably on one of my panels that I'm working on and I may scratch into that paint and then carefully lay a piece of deli paper, say, on, on that. And when I pull it off, I end up with a, a print, basically, on the deli paper. And what I love about monoprinting is you can't control it very well. You can't say, I'm gonna make this exact thing. So it's always a surprise. It's always an accident. And the other thing that happens with monoprints, so you're saying you can't do a second one, well that's not true because there's a concept called ghost, the ghost, which is the second print off the same thing. And if I have quite a bit of paint on there, I'll pull the first monoprint off and I'll, then I'll be able to get another piece of deli paper and maybe push down a little harder the second time and get a second print. thing I do once in a while is to stamp or stencil onto the collage paper. I make my own stamps, I buy the stencil, and it's just another way to get paint onto the papers and then get those onto the painting. One way I make collage papers is using India ink. And when I do, I write onto, say, deli paper with a, a nib pen. And I always put a second piece of deli paper underneath because it will bleed through. Any paint that's thin or India ink, which is quite watery, will bleed through deli paper. Same with rice paper. So I always put a second piece underneath. And the underneath piece can be just as gorgeous as the top. Be careful about using too thick paint on your collage elements. If I want more paint, I'll do a layer, let that dry, and then do another layer. One of the things to be careful about is not using certain kinds of papers that could fade. A really good example of that is newspapers. Another is colored tissue paper. Both of those are bad to use because they will not, the colors won't stick around and you may have a great painting and sometime later the colors will fade to the point where it'll really change. So instead you could just buy some tissue paper and dilute your paint and color the, the tissue paper yourself. So these are some ideas, but really you can just do whatever you want. There's so many things you can do with this technique. 
You can create a layer with monoprint onto collage paper, let that dry, take a monoprint on top of the first one, you can spatter paint onto it, you can use your grocery list and then take a monoprint onto that. Just really mess around and play with this, it's wonderful. So now you've got a variety of collage papers and now it's time to adhere them to your artwork. And it's really not that complex, but there are some tricks to that that can really make it better. 